Made in me with the production office is the producer, Sam, how are you doing? <laughs> Not too bad, thanks Chris, good to be here. Fantastic, well look, I'm going to get straight into it, get right into the, the juicy questions. In this digital age, why on earth would you shoot a film on VistaVision? <laughs> and, and in fact, what is VistaVision? Um, oh, God, you'd only shoot on VistaVision if you're completely nuts or, like us, had no concept of uh, the challenges. Um, VistaVision is basically a, a really old school format for filming. So um, Hitchcock used to film VistaVision, you know, loads and loads of films. Um, basically, it, it shoots film on its side. So instead of it being four perth per frame, it's eight perth. So you just get much, much more which means that you can then project it up onto the IMAX at full screen. Right, so you get a huge negative. This huge, yeah. <clears throat> it, I should have bought some, some negative. In fact, hey, actually, you know we could what? get some. I think, I think, ta-da, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there you go. There is, look at the size of it. Yeah, it's huge. That's crackers. <laughs> and, and, and unlike film that you look like that way, yeah. you look at it this way. Yeah, it goes across the side. Which is crazy. Yeah. So there's a piece of, uh, I'm sure you can actually donate some of this for our competition. We'll, we we'll, sure can, yeah. We we'll find fantastic. So you get a piece of, IMAX film um, as well. So, um, <clears throat> of course, shooting on that format, that, that immediately, 35 mil is expensive to begin with, but yeah. you're shooting, what, three or four times more than what you would normally shoot. Did you, was yeah. all this part of the plan, or was this all discoveries on the, on the way? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, the, basically the plan started out, um, we had access to a VistaVision camera free of charge, so that's where the whole concept of shooting on Vista came from. Right. And it just sort of spiralled from there because we found out um, if you shoot on Vista, then you can project a full screen on the IMAX. So we're like, great, we'll make it a short film for the IMAX. Um, and then, yeah, after that, we sort of began to find out the, the implications of this, the costs, the complications in post, um, the fact that uh, for like when you're shooting, you shoot at twice the speed, which means that all the reels that you need have to be really long because, you know, short ends, as great as they are, are going to give you half the time. Right. So, yeah, it got pretty complicated. <clears throat> so, right, okay. So, did you ever consider shooting digitally, or was that just no? No. It was never an option for this film. We right. would definitely shoot digital for other things. In fact, actually, I think um, our next short will be digital. Right. Um, but this one was always going to be old school. Right. Shooting on film. Because part of the process as well is to actually learn ourselves how to make a film. You know, like they do, most films that are out today are still shot on film. Um, right, that's most commercial films that you see in the cinema. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to independent films, which are hugely going digital. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, the cost is, is massively different. Right. Although, actually, I think um, once you get into post, digital can be really expensive. Yeah. Um, so it can be sort of uh, six to one, half a dozen to the other in some respects. Right, right. Um, did, you, did you find when you made that choice about shooting on VistaVision, hmm. that it had a, 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 an enormously positive impact on the project. I mean, most filmmakers, short filmmakers, they go, great idea, you know, I've got yeah. a script and people reading, oh, it's really good. <sighs> you know, so <laughs> what? Um, I mean, just being really good is, is kind of part of the course now. You, you're expected to be really good. You yeah. need something else. You need your gimmick. Absolutely. I mean, my God, we would not have pulled in the things that, you know, that we did, the favours, um, the companies on board, the um, the team. We would never have got all this together had we not been filming on the VistaVision for the IMAX. I mean, it was such a huge pull. Right. So just, in fact, just just a little role play. I, I hadn't thought about <laughs> this, but if, you know, an, in, an independent filmmaker making a, a short film that's, that mm. has none of that big hook yeah. in it... Opposed to what you, how would you, when you make a pitch phone call, say, give me something free, how would you, you say, hey, I'm Sam and we are, what, what would you have done? Um, what, without any hook? Well, with the hook, with, oh, your, with, with the your hook. juicy big hook. Oh, okay. Um, well, like when we called up um, sort of a lot of the post-production companies or, you know, even like take Kodak, um, you know, we called them up and said, we're making a short film straight away. They said, yep, so is everybody else. Um, and I said, yes, but ours is really different. Ours is really exciting, it's really big, and it's not like anything else is out there at the moment, and we can offer you um, fantastic marketing and you know, advertising tickets to an event that we've got some of the leading people coming along to um, you know, because of the nature of it. Um, and they sort of went, okay, tell me a bit more. And we said, you know, shooting on VistaVision. They were like, 
they're shooting on what? <laughs> <laughs> Who shoots on Vista Vision anymore? <laughs> And um, as soon as you say that, people go, wow, okay, that's actually really interesting. We'd right. like to be a part. We'd like to encourage, you know, and develop this. Right. You know, I mean, when we first went to the IMAX, we were sure they were just going to turn around and say, no, we don't screen anything like that here. They were so excited. It was untrue. Right. Was brilliant. Because you had that great one-liner, the biggest short film ever made. Yeah. I mean, you know, who knows whether, it, you know, it's true or not. It's not. The, the point of the line is not um, to sort of, put us in the Guinness World Records or anything. It's to to make people see that it's something so different from everything else that's out there at the moment. Right. Now, had you produced anything of any scale previously? <laughs> no. Uh, the stuff that I produce is actually documentaries <laughs> for TV, so at completely the opposite scale. I mean, it, you know, it's producing, and so, you, you know, there are transferable skills, but um, for documentaries, it's always really small scale. It was, like, in multiple countries. It was, you know, just really different and right. digital as well like tiny handheld you know kind of cameras right um and this was like a, so, a 40 strong crew um for our shoot in you know one of the major studios and um yeah 